David, it says here your first crush was on Madonna. How, how are you feeling about her now? <laughs> it was a long time ago, you know. <laughs> she's moved on, I've moved on. <laughs> she's, you know, she's... I do, what do you want me to you want me to say on television that Madonna is less attractive now? <laughs> that's, you think no, that's I a don't... useful thing to do for society? <laughs> to say that actually the way men perceive women is that they become less attractive when they get into middle age and older. No. I'm not proud of that, but yes, that's the society we're in, Jimmy. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> But I don't think that Madonna's... I mean, she's 55 years of age. She's got the body of a man half that age. <laughs> Madonna's actually... Uh, she's 57. I know that, cos she's the same age as my mum. And my mum's got a crush on you, so... <laughs> well, I mean, you're good with words, but what, specifically anagrams, not I'm your... great with words. But oh, just... yeah, yeah, just not letters. <laughs> words. I see a word as a thing. I don't care what it's made of. <laughs> If you sort of think a, a letter is arbitrary, a, a word, OK, it's a thing, you know, whatever, you know, floor, can't think of any others. <laughs> that's the main one, well, that's, that's the yeah. main one, yeah. and, it, and it's supposedly made up of letters, but it's not made up of letters, it's made up of lines. Some of them are curly, some of them join up, some of them cross each other, it's just lines. And then arbitrarily someone says, oh, no, that selection of lines, that's a P. And that selection of lines, that's an R. I don't accept that. It's just... <laughs> it's all some lines. Is that why your book... Word. Is that why your books haven't sold? Yeah. <laughs> David, have you got a mascot? Uh, yes, my mascot is this book. Um, Perry Perry Chicken, a CIA conspiracy. <laughs> It's by Keith Chegg. It's not the Keith... It's not the Keith Chegwin you'll be aware of. It's, it's, it's a Labour peer. Um, <laughs> Lord Chegwin. Um, and if you think about it, Peri Peri Chicken didn't exist at all for thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. And then suddenly, it's everywhere. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever had any. If oh. you have, you'll know it, it's not because of what it tastes like. <laughs> No one's asking for. I mean, it's all right. It's palatable, but no one's asking for that. Nobody wants it. Can we let someone say? Oh, I'm about... going to say. If you're going to contradict me, you're part of the conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> right to the top. <laughs> I don't know why they're doing it, but they've infiltrated our high streets with this completely unnecessary form of chicken. <laughs> with... We don't know what is on it. It's called peri peri, but that is not a thing <laughs> that we know the composition of. Well, it's and just... it's changing our brains <laughs> in various ways that we're not aware aware of and it could destroy civilization as we know it <laughs> have you have you ever had a kfc i have had a kfc yes yeah that's not peri peri that's fine that's, that's got fine. nothing to do with the cia <laughs> actually colonel sanders is one of the people who funded this book <laughs> Have you ever had a, a, a peri peri chicken? I, I've had it once, but I, I'm reliably informed not enough for it to have had its effect. <laughs> so, so you've had it once. Did you have the hot peri peri or the medium, the mild? What do you? What do you think? <laughs> Lemon and herb all the way. <laughs> David, what was your four? The four is grim. Grim. I've got a six. You've got six. Yeah, Ooh. I had to think about it. I, for I forgot myself. <laughs> Hang on, it's, it's now. I mean, if I. Uh, you're, I mean... you're 40 points ahead. You're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if John, you're... what was your what was your uh, five? Well, if we're allowed to change to the one that Susie's showing us on that piece of paper, then I've got a six as well. John, John, um, I'm trying to ruin Christmas. <laughs> this is we're playing. <laughs> we're playing. Let's remember. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing for a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is something. This is something that matters. This is not just money <laughs> or prominence or pride. This is a magical piece. Susie, what could they have had? Ass pick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a reverse selfie. So you just like just put the camera down there and just take an ass pick. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, what, the pen cam. Don't give him the pen cam now. I know. <laughs> Is that real? Does that work? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's do it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. No, because we can't <laughs> unsee oh, yeah. it. No. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> oh no. Right. Can I'm we just that? <laughs> uh, that pen that, that was go. designed oh. for doing close up oh. of the dictionary <laughs> decades ago. <laughs> you might as well use the royal coach to go dogging. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the horses 
is into a lay-by. <laughs> On to our first numbers round. OK, John, David, your turn to pick the numbers. Shall I say? Yeah, I'm busy. OK. <laughs> We'll have one from the top and four other ones that aren't from you the top. You need six. <laughs> and then another one. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Five. five yeah. Six. Nine. It's my pen number. Oh, four. shit. <laughs> <laughs> 25. Ah. And the target, 828. And your time starts oh. now. <laughs> So the target was 828. David, did you get it? I have not made a single mark on my piece of paper. <laughs> I didn't do it. I've just been sitting here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to do it, I didn't do it. And before I knew it, the time was gone. <laughs> I'll do it for tomorrow. <laughs> Susie's written 13 books, so there's something for everyone. It doesn't matter if you want to fix a wonky table, prop open a window, or light a barbecue. Susie's got a perfect book for you. <laughs> Susie, it's the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. Any interesting words or phrases we could thank him for? Uh, well, he was a bit of a master of sass, Shakespeare. So he was good at, at insults, which is uh, quite useful where you're concerned. So I could call you um, a three-inch fool. Actually, maybe a two-inch fool if it's you. <laughs> I don't know what he was referring to, but yeah, I think I do know what he was referring to. <laughs> um, and I don't know, David would have loads of brilliant Shakespearean insults. Can you give me some for Jimmy? Um, well, he, he invented the expression, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Stick this up your ass, you shitter. <laughs> that is, that's from the Tamey of the Shrew. Love's Labour's Lost. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? You winding me up? It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan. It's to create buzz. It's, it's too hot. It's this is the same it's... temperature as something that's burning. Because <laughs> it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? <laughs> it lived in the Pink Palace. It's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting them. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could... <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What'd your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an accountant, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs>